Good morning. Uh, my name is Captain Brian Marvin. I'm from the U.S. Coast Guard. I'm here at the 2010 uh, ISPI uh, International Conference hosted in San Francisco, not too far from my home area where I live now in Alameda or in Petaluma, California and work in Alameda, California. So we're glad ISPI is, is close by. Um, I graduated from the Coast Guard Academy in 1983 as an undergraduate in ocean engineering and I've had a career for the last uh, 28 years as a commissioned officer in a mix of training assignments and operational assignments and certainly proud of my career and my organization and, and uh, happy to share my perspectives on human performance technology. My first exposure to human performance technology was uh, when a solicitation came out to attend graduate school. The Coast Guard was offering at that time to pay for your graduate school if you went into this new program. I think then called Instructional Systems Design. I applied for and was accepted and graduated from Indiana University in 1990. I was just trying to do the math, 1990 or 1991. I had uh, uh, role models and instructors there like uh, Dr. Mike Molinda, Dr. Ivor Davies, and of course Tiagi, who could, who could forget uh, lunchtime seminars with Tiagi, all, all very positive, positive things. When I graduated uh, from this program at Indiana University, the Coast Guard had uh, duties for me that were related to my degree, and the first place that I went was up to the Coast Guard Academy and uh, was placed in an environment to try to uh, make the most out of our ship simulation. We had a full mission ship simulator where we taught navigation and, and uh, leadership on the bridge and how to operate a ship at sea and so on, all in a simulated environment. And for the Coast Guard this was somewhat new because uh, simulators in aviation had been more commonplace and trying to simulate the marine environment for ships and boats was new and they asked me to to uh, do that in New London, Connecticut at our Coast Guard Academy. I was happy to do that. have since uh, spread that uh, sort of uh, style of learning around to many of our, our uh, campuses and, and training centers, including a big ship simulator uh, for the Coast Guard that now exists in Petaluma, California. Uh, but enough about that. My, uh, my biggest uh, influence probably through the years, I mentioned a few of the people I've also taken lately to uh, Dr. Judy Hale and um, Dr. Carl Binder. Read, read some of their work and, and, and tried to look for their names on conference uh, schedules and attend those. Um, HPT projects that I've been involved in are many and varied through the years. It was a long career. Um, we, the Coast Guard now has, over the last 25 to 30 years, put 120 or so folks through master's degree programs in this field. And um, I'm, I'm the senior most of that group, so I'm the the old man of the of the ISD HPT community and so I've had a lot of projects when I was in my junior officer days I was often helping with coursework or simulation scenarios uh, performance improvement for ships um, leadership training uh, navigation training and so on um, through the years that's advanced to uh, personnel training and new personnel and HR systems um, I had a training command at uh, Training Center Petaluma where we had all of the Coast Guard's introductory training for a variety of uh, skill sets including cooking, things like cooking, hospital corpsmen, electronics, computers, um, uh, what am I missing there, St storekeeping, purchase, small purchasing, yeoman, paperwork, admin, all of those schools, uh, 600 person unit up at Petaluma. I, apparently I did well there because uh, uh, fast forward a little bit forward to where I am now they've uh, elevated my position and I'm, I'm appreciative and now I have a chance to oversee all of the Coast Guard training nationwide at, at seven uh, campuses and training centers and staffs in several locations on both coasts and so on so we handle aviation training and ship training and and uh, all of our basic training uh, from boot camp all the way up through graduate school. So it's uh, quite, a, quite a project and, and uh, my HPT foundation and roots and, and attending conferences like this has certainly helped me and the Coast Guard uh, uh, be successful. Um, the Coast Guard's also, uh, I have a note to myself, the Coast Guard's also been the beneficiary of the ISPI awards program. It's been a neat incentive through the years to, uh, to challenge our younger officers who are handling instructional design projects to uh, go through the process and the rigor 
and the, and the discipline and the documentation and the measurement required to uh, to meet that threshold. So we're, we're pleased to participate in that as well. Um, so as I look forward, or or even actually uh, demographically coming to the end of my Coast Guard career, my shift, my thought on HPT shifts slightly to organizational change for our entire Coast Guard, and that is to make sure that we have our arms around all things training and performance related in the Coast Guard, so that not only do we uh, control or, or oversee uh, actually actual classroom training or online training, but that we help ins uh, ensure that the environment that our learners return to is uh, conducive for them to use that training, meaning our doctrine and tactics, techniques and procedures are aligned with what they learned in the schoolhouse. If a standardization or in inspection team visits their unit, that team is inspecting and checking against the same kinds of standards that they learned in the school and uh, that they were visited with visited by trainers and so on. So that all of that matches and there's not the frustration and lack of alignment of I learned one thing at school and now they're telling me something different and so on. So that takes some organizational change in a in a uh, military uh, culture like the Coast Guard. That means we have to cross some lines horizontally. It means we have to re-rack uh, some chains of command and so on. So as I become uh, an older guy in this field, I look more about organizational uh, development and look to apply HPT philosophy and principles to our entire organization. And I have great support from those above me to do it. Coast Guard's uh, invested heavily in human performance technology and it's paid off. We're the smallest of the armed services, but our missions are diverse and humanitarian in nature and and uh, we're proud of our service and our relationship with HPT. And I, and I thank uh, uh, all the senior folks in ISPI for, for allowing me to be interviewed.